Hello, today I would like to show you the very quick video how I fix my washing machine. This is not a quality content, that was my private washing machine in my kitchen, upside down, and I was waiting for a spare part, so absolutely not a quality video. Here is the bottom plate after opening. This is a shock absorber that we are going to replace. And on the one end, as you can see, there is just a screw and the nut that we need to, the bolt and the nut that we are need to remove. And on top, there is a pin. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Here on the top, it's easier to see. Here is a pin. And this is also a shock absorber. So we are going to replace a pair. And the update, the washing machine is upside down. This is the, the bottom plate. This is the shock absorber. I unscrew it here. I remove the screw. This is how it was bolted. And I was trying to remove it. Here is that pin. And as you can see, there is a, there is a mark from a hammer. I was trying to push it out, but it's ended up to be, to be welded to the, to the other part, the rim of the assembly for the, the drum. And I was extremely angry. I was absolutely furious that something that is a consumer part that is going to wear down is non-replaceable, but it ended up I was completely wrong. And here you can see that there are two pieces. The first one is made of some kind of steel and the other part is made of a plastic or a nylon and this is the actual part that you are going to replace and here is a spare one here you can see the model number and you've got everything and you are only going to remove a one screw, the one bolt, you are pulling it out, you put the replacement and bolt it down and that's, that's the fix. The replacement was so simple that I was cannot believe in it. This is the shock absorber that was broken. You actually replaced, replaced them in a pair and this is how it looks like here is a something that is similar to a sponge and just it create a friction here is a spare part this is the model number and that's how it looks like you've got a grease that you put over this and here are the, the sponge extremely easy replacement this is just like a brake pad in your car the rest of assemble is made of steel and it's going to be to stay and it's mounted uh, in a extremely hard to remove way and i was angry because i was sure that yeah they make it so you cannot fix it but someone looks like think that that metal part steel is not going to break and only this 
you need to replace and they were right so how to replace that you just remove the bolt and you pull it you push it back you bolt it down and that's the whole repair at least 15 minutes less than 15 minutes maybe 10 minutes you can you can replace this by yourself if you know you just put it on the upside down remove screw that bolt another bolt put bolt back and that's done here is the washing machine after repair and as you can hear absolutely perfect so i hope you find it interesting see you next time and bye bye